Hello again, I'm Blunty. Now, with every gaming website and gaming podcast and every goddamn gaming Twitter feed flooding my eyeballs and ears with news stories, opinions, and reviews about Mass Effect 2 and Bioshock 2, there comes a risk of saturating the stream so much that other games kind of get hidden under the radar. Other games that are worth playing. Other games that deserve a little attention. So I'm going to review one today. It's, uh, it came out in the shadow of those other two games. It's called Mag. And it's something interesting. Time to lock and load, boys. We fight with the best now. Let's do this. On the surface, MAG doesn't seem like anything special. It's a first-person shooter. It's set in the near future, featuring three private military factions all trying to kick the squishy bits out of the opposing forces. For some reason. I may not have been paying much attention, but from what I can tell, there's really no story or plot thicker than helium here. After the briefest of training missions, making sure you know which end of the gun the bullets come out of, you're thrust into the game full force and your only personal goal is to survive and kill enough of the other guys to earn experience points so you can rise in rank. The game looks like any other generic shooter of this generation. The gameplay feels pretty much like any other game in this class. But there's a difference here that does make Mag stand out from the crowd. There is no story mode. There is no offline campaign to explore and sharpen your skills on. Mag is online only. Every map you bleed on, you're facing a real human opponent. And every bullet to the spleen or rocket to the face you take was not set forth on its gooey mission of death by computer AI, but from real people. In fact, MAG enables up to 256 players to exuberantly spray bullets simultaneously on a single map, depending on the mission mode. Among those game modes are the familiar deathmatch style suppression, the goal-oriented acquisition, and domination, which sees teams trying to hold as many command points on a map for as long as possible. And in each of these game modes, you'll be part of an 8-player squad, which in turn is part of a platoon of 32 players. And in the most crowded game mode, Domination, you'll have 4 platoons for each side. Predictably, as with any online team-based game, unless you've organised a squad of trusted friends, the random groupings of teammates you've never met before fighting by your side generally show no concept of teamwork, have no interest in organised battle plans, and it pretty much winds up as a free-for-all. And even if you're lucky enough to have a squad leader who is a capable player who can bark out clear orders and commands, the chances of your fellow frag fodder actually carrying out those orders seems about 50-50. Another interesting reality of this game is that unless you're one of those people who live and breathe shooters like this and can spend hours and hours honing your skills, memorizing every detail on every map and building a squad of similarly sunlight allergic teammates, you're going to discover very quickly that the digital flesh of your in-game avatar starts acting like a bullet magnet of epic proportions. But at least if you're out there soaking up damage and distracting the snipers, the more skill players on your team can wreak a little more havoc. At least that's the way I like to look at it. Look! I caught a rocket with my face! I'm helping! Mag, being a game where your only option is to play online, you'd hope it does bloody well in it. And to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't expect it to work as well as it did. There were no weird glitches that caught me out. I could detect no sign of the bane of online shooters, the leviathan of lag. My experience with MAG really reminded me of the old days of private LAN parties, playing endless hours of games like Counter-Strike. This is a very good thing. Like I said when I started out, the game itself looks and feels quite generic in its presentation. The maps are nice, but not spectacular. The weapons are effective and useful, but uninspiring. The game is deliberately uncomplicated and unencumbered by crap. And it's about as deep as a shot glass, but that's not why you play this game. Alright, so final verdict. If you are the type of person who lives, breathes, drinks, eats, injects between your toes, first person shooters, this is the game you need to be playing right now. It's, it's fun. If you're not as hardcore first person shooter material, maybe you're a little bit more casual, it may be a bit rough going, it's gonna be a challenge, but I tell you, there is no better way to make you a better player than playing against real people, real devious, real sneaky, real crazy ass players. Mag is exclusive to the PlayStation 3 and it is worth checking out. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time. Grenade!